but I was also obviously also taking into account what I'd been through. Uh, but I really wanted a 160 205. I, I felt strong. I cleaned your 200. Just didn't come together that day. I don't know. I hate to say it happens, but it happens. So yeah. Can you walk me through a little bit about the 2019 World Championships? Uh, as in, you know, how did each, how did the lifts feel? How did it go to plan? Uh, and your mentality from the backstage? I mean, are you, are you in a happy mood? Do you go to a dark place? Like, how does that all play out? So for the 2019 Championships for you, mm-hmm. how was that as a competition? I don't know. When I compete, I just kind of try to get into like the zone, like into a flow state. Like where I could just kind of go do what I need to do, what I've been, what I've trained to do, and just kind of execute. Unfortunately, this last competition, I wasn't able to do that. I'm not exactly sure what happened, but I ended up missing my opener, and I ended up missing my second attempt in snatch, and and making my third. Luckily, that's obviously not what I want to do. It's not a good place to be. It's not a fun place to be. But it it happened, so I had to work with what what I had. Do you let all of the motivation come from, you know, having a, a three-time Olympic champion, Chris Demas, talking to you and telling you that you're going to go and make the lift? Or do you find something from within you that you just say, it's been it's been years that I've been doing this. I need to make this lift to fulfill these Olympic dreams. Like, I mean, what, what, what do you do? Yeah, it definitely doesn't hurt anything to have someone with that, you know, <laughs> experience back there saying, like, I've seen you do this before. Go do your job. Go do it. And a lot of it, a lot of it was that, but there's also a portion of it that was, you know, internal. Like I have done this before. I've done this in training. I've done this in competition. I've done this a lot. Like I just need to buckle down. I need to go out there and, and do my job and hit my lifts. Mm. So there, it was kind of both of those portions. I mean, when I compete, it's very much so like, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I've trained to do. I'm going to go out there and try to do exactly, you know, what I practice just doing my job doing what my coaches tell me to do so in the back room are you, are you a quiet guy or uh, are you a little bit more extroverted no i definitely think i'm more of a, a quieter person i don't do very well when it's like dead silent and, you know everybody's just staring at each other like waiting for something to happen mm-hmm. so i like i like joke around i'll try to keep it a little loose let me get out there uh for competition and it's just go time like i just get out there and and, and work so mm-hmm. I mean it, it doesn't do me well to be over focused but of course you don't want to be under focused either so it's walking that line between the two yeah. um, which I've had a lot of experience doing so I think I'm starting to get it right. get it down I was pretty angry at myself like I knew I had just messed up snatching so I was pissed like man I'm, I went one for three at Worlds like what am I doing right. like, I, was, <laughs> I was so angry and then Firos goes, okay, that happened. You can be angry about it for like a, two minutes, but then we gotta go clean trip. We gotta warm up, we gotta get going. That totally turned it around. I've broken into two, pretty much two events, like the snatch and then the clean trip. Like they're two separate, obviously they're separate, but I dissociate them mm-hmm. in competition even more. Like, okay, the snatch portion's done. It's done, there's nothing I can do about it. You know, we gotta focus on clean jerk now. Like this is a whole new competition for me because it's where I thrive and I thrive in the clean jerk. So it's where I can make up kilos. It's where I can win medals, honestly. So 